All right, so since I guess I'm a fucking glutton for punishment, um, here's another late night uh, review, and this time we're going to be reviewing Shang Chi: Brothers and Sisters. This comic actually comes from me, uh, from my good friend uh, Mount Vernon Kid, Chris. I know you're watching. Thank you again, brother. This is a great read, and I wanted to do a review on it. There's another comic I still need to review. I just need to finish it. Of Neil Gaiman's The Eternals, another comic Chris sent me. Um, I will be sure to do a review of that as soon as I'm done reading it. It's a... For seven issues, it's actually a really big comic. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into this comic. Let's jump right into Shang-Chi Brothers and Sisters. So this is the first time I've read anything Shang-Chi related, and it's not for lack of, you know, n not wanting to read Shang-Chi. It's more the lack of Marvel, who just did not care about this character until it was like, oh shit, we got a character, uh, uh, we got a movie with this with this character, we got to pump out comics. So, this comes out, and this is a mini-series, although they treat it like Volume 1, it's more of a mini-series than anything else. Um... So it's a five-issue miniseries that is... Oh, by the way, for those wondering what this comic is about, this comic is written by Jean, uh, by Jean Lun Yang. Hope I'm saying that name right. But if that name sounds familiar, it's because that's the dude who was writing um, the first few Avatar The Last Airbender stories, um, The Promise and The Search. Um, yeah, I think he also helped write Smoke and Shadows as well. He also wrote Superman Smashed the Clan, and he's been getting a big name for himself. Uh, Yang has been getting a huge name for himself. He's even been talking about wanting to write a Justice League Dragon Ball Z crossover. Good luck to you, man. I hope DC and, and Akira Toriyama can come to some kind of fucking peace. If that's the case. But yeah, this, um, this comic is... If you don't know who Shang-Chi is, don't worry. They tell you, alright, here's the, here's the whole rundown. So this story deals with um, Shang has been um, Shang has been living on uh, living as like a baker for the longest time, but now he's been discovered by a group called the um, the House of Deadly Hammer, which is actually run by his sister. It turns out that his father, who was a crime lord who went by many names, one of them being Fu Manchu. Obviously, they didn't go with that name in this comic. Um, they go by his real name, Zheng Zhu, who Zheng Zhu had five children, who are all based around the five original forms of combat in China. Um, the fist, which is Shang-Chi, the dagger, the sword, the hammer, and the staff. And they became the five de deadly weapons. So Shang-Chi finds out that he, his sibling he had is now Commander Hammer. She is the leader of the House of Deadly Staff and the House of Deadly Hammer. But then his two unknown half-siblings show up of the House of, of Sword and the House of Flying Dagger. They show up and they're like, hey, you've got to run your evil, your dad's evil empire because you were destined. Like, uh, Seng Zhu's spirit says that you got to do it. The problem is, is that um, uh, his sister, Hammer, uh has a army of Zhangxi, which are a form of Chinese vampires, working for him at the same time. What I like about this comic is that this is a very reader-friendly book. If you don't know who Shang-Chi is, don't worry, this comic's got you covered. Because it's like, look, Mar it's almost like, J like Yang sat down and went, look, I know y'all have not read a lot of Shang-Chi comics because he's just a character that has been tossed around. Like, the last time he had any kind of relevance for Marvel's sake was in John and Hickman's Avengers. Um, but, he, but other than that, a lot of people don't read a lot of them. So don't worry, I'm going to jump in here and make this user-friendly. But not only that, this comic is also very... Like, it ties into a lot of stuff. Like, he doesn't try... Like, Zheng Zhu... Excuse me, not Zheng Zhu. The, the name of the villain. There is some retcons with him. Um, but Yang is very respectful of his life. Like, of Shang-Chi's life as the character. Like, he fully understands that, look... This is a character not a lot of people know. Like, ju they just know that he's a dude. He was based... He was in, from the era of the Bruce exploitation era... And he can fight. It's literally it. Don't worry. 
I will I will do stuff with this. And for five issues, it actually goes... It's actually a very... While it is, um, you could make the argument that it's a brisk read, the other end of that argument is this comic is... Like, it's paced very well. For a five-issue miniseries, it's a very well-paced story. It's a very, you know, very condensed... Um, it goes into, like... If you love stuff like... Um, again, uh, it's, you know bruceploitation stuff obviously that's where shang chi came from but like if you enjoy like spy stuff um mysticism in your kung fu this literally like yang literally must have marathoned like 12 goddamn uh 70s kung fu movies and went i know what to do now <laughs> because that's this is literally encompasses every bit of the 70s kung fu movies that you watched you know you watched as a kid and went here i you know here it's all in a blender for five issues and again for five issues you'd think it'd be like too short of a story but really it's it's well paced it's a very well paced story it's a very um it's a very well written story there's some great action scenes in here um the artwork by uh Dick Ru Dyke Ryun? Dick Ry I cannot pronounce the artist's name, but... Yeah. I apologize for that. Dyke Ryun? I cannot pronounce that name. But the artwork in here is very well done. I don't know if this is going to show up because of the lighting, but let me look for a... Let me look for a good panel to show you guys the artwork real quick. Uh... Trying to find, like, a good splash page. Ah! Here. Look at that. Look at that artwork right there. That is something. Um, so, yeah. Do I recommend uh, Shang-Chi Brothers and Sisters? Yeah. All the characters are fun. Uh, Sister Deadly Dagger and, Sister and Brother Sword, uh, Shang-Chi's other siblings. They're fun. Like, they're great supporting characters. Um, Shang-Chi himself is so much fun to read um, Chris thanks again for this and yeah this is the first miniseries and then the second one is Shang-Chi vs. the Marvel Universe which I really want to read uh, but that trade doesn't come out till December so if you want to look for something fun and you know to get you hyped for the Shang-Chi movie go out and get this it's um, about fifteen ninety nine, so it's under twenty dollars. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a steal, really. Like I just now looked at the price tag for this, and I went, oh, it's that l less, it's that much. Okay, yeah, if we're under twenty dollars, go check this out if you want to read some Shang good Shang Chi stories um, for cheap, because I know the compendiums are pretty, because they're bringing out a lot of like compendiums and whatnot, and those are probably going to be a lot. Anyway. So, yeah, Chris, Mount Vernon Kid, thanks once again for this. This was so much fun. And, uh, yeah, I, he literally, a funny story, like, he literally sent me a text in the middle of the night saying, hey, go check your mail. And I was like, okay, uh, what's in there? And lo and behold, anyway. So, once again, hope you all enjoyed this. I am Mr. Multiverse, and I'll see you next time in the multiverse.